You know what's scarier than your browser history? NVIDIA's stock chart. Picture this. Jensen Huang, tech's favorite leather jacket enthusiast, is probably wishing he could run a Control Plus Z on the entire stock market right now. Why? Because while he was busy being the Tony Stark of semiconductors, a Chinese startup just pulled the ultimate hold my beer moment in tech history. Imagine spending years building an empire of ultra expensive AI chips, only to have some upstart company named DeepSeek show up and do the computational equivalent of beating a Ferrari with a souped up Toyota they built in their garage. We're talking about a $589 billion market value wipeout. That's like accidentally deleting the entire economy of Sweden or burning through Elon Musk's Twitter purchase price three times over. And the best part, they did it with the computing equivalent of duct tape and paper clips while Nvidia was flexing with their quantum powered gold plated supercomputers. But here's where it gets wild. DeepSeek's new R1 model just body slammed ChatGPT right out of the top spot on Apple's App Store. It's like watching a rookie wrestler take down The Rock in their first match. Mark Andreessen is calling it AI's Sputnik moment. And let me tell you, when the guy who basically invented the modern web browser starts making Cold War comparisons, you know things are getting spicy. Now Meta's so shook they've set up not one, not two, but four war rooms just to figure out how DeepSeek pulled this off. Imagine Mark Zuckerberg pacing around in his metaverse, trying to understand how someone built a better AI while spending less on hardware than he does on hoodies. They're especially puzzled because DeepSeek managed to build their model for about 3-5% to of what the big players spend. That's like building a rocket to Mars using parts from Radio Shack. The real plot twist, DeepSeek didn't even need NVIDIA's precious chips to make this happen. While tech giants have been fighting over NVIDIA's GPUs, like their PS5s at launch, DeepSeek was in the corner, quietly building something that works on hardware you could probably find at your local Best Buy. Kathleen Brooks from XTB says this could turn the economics of AI on its head. And she's not kidding. It's like discovering you can power a Tesla with AA batteries. The ripple effects are hitting harder than a badly timed Windows update. Google lost 99 billion dollars in value. That's like misplacing the entire GDP of Slovakia in your couch cushions. Microsoft dropped 71 billion dollars. Oracle tanked by the same amount and even Tesla felt the burn. When was the last time you saw Silicon Valley this nervous? Probably when someone suggested Mark Zuckerberg might be human. I am human, still. But here's where it gets interesting. Meta just announced they're dumping $65 billion into AI infrastructure. While OpenAI is going full Star Trek with their $500 billion Stargate project, it's like watching someone double down at a poker table right after losing their watch. The big question is, are they betting on the right horse or are they just throwing good money after bad? Some Wall Street analysts are playing it cool. Javier Correonero from Morningstar is talking about something called the Jevons Paradox, basically suggesting that making AI more efficient might actually increase demand for hardware in the long run. It's like how making cars more fuel efficient somehow led to people driving more. Meanwhile, Wedbush's Dan Ives is calling this a golden buying opportunity, probably while stress eating his way through a bag of gold-plated chips. The truth is, we're watching a classic David versus Goliath story unfold in real time, except David is using budget hardware and Goliath is wearing a leather jacket and has a market cap bigger than most countries. Nvidia is still the only company that can handle the heavy lifting for autonomous systems and robotics, but DeepSeek just proved you don't need a nuclear reactor to build a competitive AI model. So, what's next? Are we witnessing the end of Nvidia's dominance, or is this just a speed bump on the road to AI supremacy? Will DeepSeek change the game? Or will Jensen Huang have the last laugh? If you enjoyed and check out another video on the screen now.